Hello friends, Gregory Boys Homestead here. Uh, if you're familiar with the page, Grayson is at school. I just dropped him off. Uh, it's super bright this morning. It's, would you believe it is March 1st? It's about to be 70 degrees out today. But, uh, <clears throat> so what I'm here about today is uh, last minute planting. So um, if you're a moon phase planter, like moon in the sky, tripping over my words here. If you are a moon phase planter, uh, you need to start your pepper seeds like right now. Like a lot of seeds are starting, uh, are supposed to be started right now. So what I'm going to do is some last, last minute, last second planting here in case you haven't had enough time to individually plant them in uh, cups, like 16 ounce solo cups or uh, however you might want to do it. Um, this is only going to take a few seconds, well maybe a couple minutes but uh, this will ensure that you only plant um, growing plants and you will save a lot of space. So to get right into it, you got your 1020 tray. Um, if you're not familiar with 1020 trays, I wasn't when I first got them, but what that means is it's 10 inches wide, 20 inches long, and it's just a hard plastic tray. You get it at your garden stores or online. I bought mine in like a big stack of them online. We're going to take a 32 ounce mason jar full of water. So this is a quart size mason jar. I'm going to pour it in here, try to spill it on myself as much as possible. So now we've got a 1020 tray, 32 ounces of water. My seed packets are falling. Crap, just lost a bunch of seeds. All right. We're going to take some of this miracle Grow. Now this is potting soil. Normally I would say, you know, this isn't the best stuff because of the nutrients that are in it to, uh, to start seeds in. But inflation has hit the soil producing companies and the majority of this stuff now is just peat moss. So there is some nutrition in there. It's not like it was a few years ago though. Now it is just, not just, but I would say there's a high strong content of just peat moss in there with just a little bit of the nutrition that they had in the past. So it's gonna say feeds up to six months. Well, that's probably if it's a plant that does not take up much nutrients. If it's a plant that takes nutrients, it's not gonna, it's not gonna feed up to six months. But the package will say feeds up to six months. And that might be if you have a little marigold about the size of that. Yeah, for the last six months. You have an actual plant in there. It's only going to feed you for maybe a month, maybe a couple weeks. So you're going to need a lot of compost if you're trying to put this stuff in your garden. Some of the past videos I've showed you how to make some really awesome compost and I'm going to be making one here real soon. I've already done the uh, recording, I just haven't done the editing on how to make super amazing nitrogen rich compost. All right, so I'm spreading all this stuff all throughout here. Again, it's the Miracle Grow um, potting mix, but inflation has hit it, so it's mostly just peat moss now. All right. I'm going to cut out for a second so I can finish packing this in. Unless you want to sit here and hang out with me. You can skip maybe a few seconds forward if you want to, but I only got a few more handfuls to put in here. And the peat moss is starting to soak up that moisture that I put in there earlier, the 32 ounces. All right, so now we have a bed of bed of soil in there. What I've got here is pepper plants. Now to save time I've packed probably six pepper packets into this one, six pepper seed packets into this one, and I'm just gonna sprinkle this all over the place. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. I'm gonna take the other one Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Spread it out just a little bit. Does not matter what it looks like. 
just try to spread it out as much as possible doesn't have to be perfect doesn't matter you'll see in a future video why now we're going to take just a little bit more go over top of it just a little bit not a lot we're going to spread that out We're going to take a water bottle with we're going to put it on mist we're not not spray but mist and we are going to saturate spray 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 but we are going to soak the living crap we want that top we want that top layer to be super duper soaked and we only put like a quarter inch quarter inch to an eighth inch over top of those seeds. Spray, spray, spray. Okay, you get the point. We're going to take a little bit more. More of this high peat moss content. Miracle Grow. Feeds up to six months. Oh, I do that right. <laughs> I wish Grayson was here. He could, he could totally be doing some kind of like dancing in the background. All these, so this Miracle Grow has these little white balls in it that like swell up when it gets moisture on it. Grayson would pick them up and be like, "Look, Dad, it's a nutrition ball." <laughs> we're gonna take just a little bit more. What we're putting down. We're only putting down like another quarter inch, another quarter inch of soil. Well, I hate to call it soil. It just gets under my skin to, to call it soil because it's not really soil anymore because the inflation monster, it's mostly just peat moss. Now we're gonna take it and we're gonna spray it. And To save time, I'm not going to completely spray it and saturate it as much as I normally would because I mean I would live it, literally soak this down. Alright, so once you got all this soaked down, now this is some really wet soil, you're going to take this you're going to take a humidity dome, just a little clear plastic dome, and you're going to stick it right on top. And then from here, I'm going to take it indoors and slide it right into my seed starting light setup. And what this is, is I've got two 5500 lumen LED shop lights. These aren't going to provide a lot of uh, awesome sunlight. To, uh, to, to get strong growth. But what it is gonna do is just create enough light so that these guys know what's up and it's gonna create enough heat to create a humid environment. So what's happening inside these domes is it's super humid and it stays moist. The humidity is high. The light from underneath produces some heat, comes up here and it warms up the soil from underneath. As you see down here, all these are totally saturated, all humid, super humid inside there. Now, you'll notice I don't have any seeds down here. However, I do have a light. And the reason I have this light going is to produce enough heat to heat up that soil to get these guys going. Now, these are ready to go. These are ready to transplant. This is, let's see, that's my cauliflower. Let's lift it up. Oh yeah, cauliflower is ready to transplant. Whew, when I lifted that thing up, I could feel the steam just leaving it. This is, that's cabbage. You can see there. Oh yeah, cabbage is ready to transplant. I'll be doing that this evening. Now this is last minute, uh, according to the moon phase. And I just put this in here, but the seeds are started. Of course, this is my bell peppers. Started those yesterday. 
I thought I'd maybe make a video so that you guys could see some last minute planting. Uh, if you want to see a video of how I separate these, uh, just say in the comments and I'll make a quick video on how to do that. And I have so much more to tell you if you'd like to know. So uh, subscribe, follow along, hit that thumbs up and ring that bell. <laughs> All that great stuff. Help me build this channel, guys. Uh, I am uh, really concerned about the way the world is going. And uh, I mean, think about it. If you do this and then you turn your front yard or your backyard, just an area into a, um, into a, like a food grow place, um, you know, you might replace 20 meals or like me, I did the whole freaking yard. So I'm replacing 365 days a year. I'm probably replacing like 150 meals um, that I would normally have to pay for. But instead, I now grow it in my yard and 150 days worth of eating for free just right out of your yard so be sure to subscribe um, hit that thumbs up so that it uh, gets sent out to other people all you know that you know the spiel subscribe thumbs up ring the bell leave a comment and uh, send me oh, I was gonna say send me your bank account information but YouTube might uh, that probably shouldn't say that should I send me subway gift cards there we go subway gift cards <laughs> all right um, I'll see you all later. Thanks for stopping by. What do you think about that, Dad? I think some hillbilly shit. <laughs>